Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. This is Derek Ong with the continuing series of uh, using Smart PLS for research. Now, uh, if you notice that uh, I skipped a step and I didn't do the culinary issues uh, before uh, in my structural model and I went straight to doing the um, direct relationships, but that's no matter. I'm going to go back and show you how to do step one and step three, which is uh, uh, coming out, um, sorry, um, producing the culinary, uh, the lateral culinary uh, uh, values as well as the R square values. And the following two videos um, will do the effect size and, of course, the predictive relevance. So as I mentioned to you um, earlier on in theory, uh, we are supposed to find out what is the lateral collinearity between the uh, endogenous, uh, sorry, the exogenous variables. Um, and uh, this is to find the variance inflation factor, making sure that the variance inflation factor is not more than five. And of course, we are going to also use the R square in step, sorry, step three, uh, to calculate uh, what is the uh, rule of thumb and uh, using this R square we can then of course uh, calculate the uh, F, uh, F square which is the effect size and of course the predictive relevance which I'm going to break that up later on. So let's begin with our VIF. So using back the same model we are going to calculate the PLS algorithm and uh, start calculation. And if you notice in our PLS algorithm, you notice the collinearity diagnostics here. We're not so concerned about the inner VIF, uh, sorry, the outer VIF. We're more concerned about the inner VIF where we look at the uh, variance inflation factor between the variables and you notice that all the, the, the numbers here are below 5. So which shows that there is no uh, strong indication of uh, uh, what you call this uh, multicollinearity. So that is step 1 done. Uh, video 12, we did step 2. Now, to assess the R square is in step 3. We are only looking at the R square for attitude. And you notice that the R square is uh, fairly okay, uh, which signifies the um, uh, proportion of variance uh, of the exogenous variables on the endogenous. So, this is step 3. And that uh, takes care of the step one, two, and three. The next two variable videos will take care of step four and five, which is the uh, effect size and the predictive relevance. Okay, thank you for watching.